Look, man, one thing you got to understand is this. Look, when you get to that point in your journey where you just begin to love yourself and you just you just started making yourself better, you know, you started to fix all your mistakes, you know, you just started to feel like you great, like I'm great, I'm great. See, because once upon a time, you probably never thought about yourself being like great or, you know, I'm I'm beautiful, I look good, I, I, I am all that I got, like I'm number one. Like when you start to change your mindset from being like a victim to like a queen or a king, or a princess or an emperor and you start to just you start to just really really truly love yourself because all your life you know you've been hanging we probably been hanging around people that don't love themselves all your life you probably been hanging around people that had low self-esteem you probably was raised by people that didn't have no confidence you probably was raised by people that never went nowhere they ain't never saw nothing and what they did was they instilled all of their beliefs inside you but luckily you found yourself you find you 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 awaken, right? And you start to realize that you are more than enough. Okay. Once you start doing that, this is when you're gonna start losing so many relationships. You gonna it's gonna be, it's gonna almost damn near be impossible for you to get in a relationship. All right. And that's probably why you by yourself right now. It ain't got like I keep telling y'all. It ain't got nothing to do with you how handsome you is or how long, how beautiful you is. And listen, this shit is gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Cause I'm gonna tell you what you gonna be doing. You only the more you see you can't have a connection with people because they start hating you just because of how much you love yourself. The more they hate you, the more you get better. <laughs> yeah. The more you get better, the more money you gonna spend. <laughs> the more makeup you gonna buy. <laughs> you didn't think so? Yeah. These haters is fueling your success. That's why they say your haters become your motivators. They fueling you to your success. That's why you can't meet, meet, meet a lot of friends like that. That's why people act weird when you come around and act strange. That's why your friends just... You know, all of a sudden, just twist the story on you and just turn on you and just do some some weird shit. You be like, damn, what the hell wrong? What the hell wrong with you, girl? What the fuck did I do? This is why they do it. See, they doing this. They they switching and turning on you. It's be they switching and turning on you because you the you great man. You great. This bro, welcome to the real world, Neo. You great. And the thing with most people is most people cannot stand to be around somebody that's better than them. All right. It don't matter if you a woman and you trying to talk to a man. If this man feel like you are great, if he, if he sense that you don't even need him, you don't even need a man. Shit, you can be a man and a woman. <laughs> Where they do that at? But he feel like, damn, she taking care of her kids and she balling at the same time. They start to feel some kind of way. They start to get jealous. They start to feel like they start to call you out your name. You know, they start to throw shade on you and stuff like that because you're just a wonderful person. Listen, there are consequences and repercussions comes with being a wonderful person. When you start seeing yourself as like better than better, better than you used to be and you don't really need nobody for shit. Man, that's when people are going to start looking at you and saying you the bad person. You the bad guy. You an evil person. You're devilish. You know, like they're going to call you everything but good. They're going to call you everything but great. And they're going to hate on you just because of that very reason. When you start activating the God in you, it's the God in me. It's the God in me. Hey, it's the God in me. When you start activating that shit and you start really singing and feeling yourself, everybody's going to be like, How you feel yourself so good like that? Why you like yourself so much? I don't like myself this much. Why you like yourself so much? Bro, they don't know how to take it. They're not going to know how to take it. They're not going to know how to take it. When you around a group of people and they sitting over there playing with their fingernails and biting their fingers and stuff like that. While you over here mingling and socializing with a whole bunch of people. And you you got you, you building a rapport. <laughs> You building uh, social skills and relationships and connections and stuff like that with people. They're going to be like, why you can do it better than me? I'm, I don't know how to talk to people. You said we was going to be a, together when we came out here. 
No, I didn't. I said we coming out here to have a good time. We come out here to network. We come out. What we come out for? We come out to meet people, duh. We come out to meet people. We didn't come to look at each other. I didn't come to the VIP just to look at you and the whole time we in the VIP. Decepticon. People is going to hate you just because you just want better for yourself, man. I'm telling you, this is how it this is how it always happens. Anytime you start anytime you start telling your parents, I want to do this. I want to go here. I want to do I'm going to do this. I'm going to create this. I want to be the boss. Of, I want to be an entrepreneur. And I, your your parents is going to look at you like who you think you is? I didn't do that. So how you think you going to do it? I don't even know how to teach you that. <clears throat> and you shouldn't want to do it. You're making me angry. You're making me angry, Jocelyn. You're making me angry. Why am I making you angry? Because I want to do something different from what you ever did in your whole life that you've never done before. Why are you mad at me? Your own parents, your friends, your brothers, your sisters, everybody is going to not like you just because you're doing things different from everybody in your whole entire family has ever done it. That's sad, ain't it? That's sad. Poor things. Poor, poor things. That's so sad, but that's the truth. That's the reality of the situation, man. People don't know how to understand something that's new, okay? Anytime you start being your true, unique, divine, true self, it's new. You're the only one that got your style. You're the only one that dressed the way you dress. You're the only one that looked the way you look. You're the only one that talked the way you talk. You know what I mean? Anytime you, you take on a totally new swagger or you take on a totally new life path, okay? You're going to have the, those people that's hanging around you right now are going to hate you and they're going to despise you and they're going to hate on you just because you want to be you. If he find out that you don't want to follow him and be his little, you know, just be grabbing on to him and his garment and shit. If he find out you don't want to listen to him and he, you, you're not able to be controlled and shit. He's going to start calling you out your name. You know what? Because you're not a slave. You know what I mean? If you ain't doing, if you ain't running his errands for him and watching his draws, he all of a sudden going to say you're not a, you're not a woman. You're not a real woman or whatever you're looking for. You're not a real woman. Why am I real? Why? Why? Because I won't do what you want me to do. This is what makes people hate you just because, bro. See, when you when you free when you when you when you free and you just you love yourself man you cherish yourself man this shit disturbs people man because people want that same feeling but they don't know how to do it because they got too much negativity in their heart you understand see people can't be what their heart don't allow them to be right if you got a if you got a bad heart if you a spiteful person you're hateful you're just a negative sinister person but you try to you try to act like you're not, your heart is gonna always prove you wrong. It's gonna come out eventually. You're gonna you're gonna blank off of somebody or you're gonna start treating somebody like with with with, with dis, disrespect. You're gonna start doing something because your heart, since it's not purified yet, your heart is gonna make you behave the way your heart is really is. You understand? So that's why people that's why you think people is like on your team for a minute or you think they with you and they ride with you till the wheels fall off. All to find out, they just, they just like everybody else. Why? Because they heart ain't right. They know your heart right. They know you a heart of gold. They know you a pure person. They know you mean well. They know you got success in your mind. You got a vision. You got a lot of people that look up to you or you got a lot of clients or something like that. They're going to fall back. And they're going to fall back and they're going to say, I, I don't like that. They're, gonna, they're not going to tell you this in, a, in your face, but they're going to be behind closed doors debating with themselves about how good you are and how they're not on your level. And they're going to hate you just because of that. No, you can't be a good man. Don't be a good man. She's going to hate you for that, bro. Don't be a good man. She want to see you down. She want to see you. She want to see you getting in trouble. She wants to see you talking shit. You know what I mean? She wants a verbal abusive relationship. She wants that because that's the only thing that she's used to. It's the only thing that she had. Her mama had it. She wanted to. Her mama passed it down through her genetics. That's what she wants to. She wants to be abused. She wants a verbal abusive relationship. She wants a damn thug. That's what she wants. She don't want a good man. Okay? Listen. Anytime you start doing good with your life, anytime you start bettering all the cells in your anatomy, 
your biology, okay? Anytime you start changing your DNA, anytime you just start to just care about yourself, when you hit the room and people can sense that you love yourself because of the way you carry yourself, what you got on, what you smell like, what you walk like, your etiquette, your rhetoric, anytime you start to make all this stuff better, anytime you cook better, your friends are going to say, oh, this is nasty. Why is it nasty? Because it's good, ain't it? Now, I don't like it. I never, I'm, I'm allergic to this. You're not a, see, they hating on you. You got to understand when people be hating on you versus when they really don't like what you have offered them. You know what I mean? You got to understand like hate is totally different from somebody throwing shade. You understand? Shade is totally different from somebody that really hates you. You know what I mean? But it's basically the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, t I'm just trying to get you to understand. You got to be conscious and you got to be aware of of when, you know, people are just trying to, like, make you feel bad because you're doing good things with your life, right? Like I say, you might be lonely right now. You might not have no, no girlfriend or you might not have a wife or something or you might not have a boy, whatever. You might not have no friends to call. You probably can scroll through your whole call log and you won't see nobody who you can just call and vent to. Is it? It ain't nobody, is it? Just big bro. You can scroll through your whole call log when you're going through some trauma or some bad situations, you know, that need to be dissected or you just need a vent. You're going to go through your whole call log. You, there's nobody there. There's not a preacher there. There's not a counselor there. You know what I mean? Nobody's there to hear you out. Nobody's there to, like, understand your point of view. And you just don't have anybody to, like, lean on. Okay? Why? Because they have grown to hate you just because you great. See, you got to understand, when you become a great person, when you're just doing good with your life, you become the new leader. You become the, the forefront, meaning there is nobody in front of you who can tell you how to do what you're trying to do. Your family members can't tell you how to be more successful than you already at right now. If you are a successful person right now, or you can be the most successful person in your family, you the, you the baddest basketball player in your family, they can't tell you how to co come up with new crossover moves. They can't tell you how to like better your business so you can make a million dollars. They can't tell you. That's why they don't support you. It, how can they support <laughs> if they ain't even never even made it to the level that you at? So one thing you got to understand is that you become the new leader. You are the new leader. And so while you waiting on somebody to call, while you looking around to see if somebody's going to notice you or recognize you, they never going to notice and recognize you because they already looking up to you. They already respect you for who you are. You are the GOAT. You the GOAT. Everybody follow the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? So this is why it feels lonely at the top. It's because there's nobody up above you. All right? This is what it means to be lonely at the top. That's what this is what it means to be successful. Most people who are successful don't have people around them who they can call on. Not unless it's somebody else that's successful too. Or not unless it's somebody else that's you know in the same tax bracket as them. You know, millionaires can't talk to somebody who's working at McDonald's. It just don't make sense to conversate with somebody that's working a nine to five. Somebody that's making six figures can't talk to somebody that's making uh $30,000 a year. It's just not going to, the relationship is just not going to balance out right. Eventually, the person that's making $30,000 is going to start to feel like you owe them something. Like, nigga, you owe me. Why? Because I make $100,000 plus? Yes. You should pay for all my meals. You should pay for all my dinners. You should get my car fixed. You need to get my light turned on. You need to go get me, give me some groceries. When you are associating yourself with people who are not on the same frequency as you, they're going to always make you responsible for their problems. Why? Simply because you're on a totally different level than them. They're going to hate you just because that. Okay? That's where most of your problems come from. And that's why I always tell y'all, stop dealing with people that's not on your level. Stop dealing with low-value, low-class people if you know you're on a high class. If you know you're on a low class, you know what I mean? <laughs> You can try to kind of get with high class people, but you got to make it look good. You know what I'm saying? You you, you got to make it look good. You got to be a good actor. Really good too. Okay. But real talk, man, people going to hate you just because you just start loving yourself. Just because you just start leveling up and you want better for yourself. And, and they don't want nothing for themselves. And you can't help them up the ladder because they don't want to come. You can tell people to come see me, come see me, come see me, come see me. They never going to come see you. Only thing they're looking forward to is you to come see them. 
Why? Because they never going to leave out their comfort zone. That's all they know. They never going to do nothing better than Texas. They just going to stay in Texas. They never going to come to Cali. They just going to stay in Texas. Your mom and daddy just going to stay in Texas all their life because that's all they know. They never gonna visit. They never gonna come visit you. They never gonna come see what you got going on and how successful you have become on your career. They never gonna want to know why. Because you outdid them. You're in a totally different level from them. You're a totally different person from them. You understand what I'm saying? Like they, you, you gotta understand when you are you. They parent now. Your sisters and brothers, they might be older than you, but hell, when you start doing better than them, shit, you the big sister now. You the big brother now, like big bro. They ain't the big bro because their life don't show it. So this is why you don't get a lot of support. This is why people hate you just because. It ain't that they hate you. They hate themselves. So they projecting their energy onto you. To, and it comes off to you like, oh, they hate me. They don't hate you. They actually admire you and love you, but they hate the fact that they don't have the same, they don't have the same ambition as you to be who you are, to be where you're at. You know what I'm saying? So it come off to you as like, oh, they hate me. Oh, you know, this girl right here, she ain't even text me back. She don't do this. It ain't that she don't want to text you. It ain't that she don't want to be with you or nothing like that. It's just that she knows that you're a guy of many colors. You have great things going for yourself. She don't feel like she has enough confidence or she don't feel like she's the most beautiful girl in your life. So that so that's why she throws shade at you because she's just not on your level. Get somebody who's on your level, folks. Always go to people who are right here and can meet you halfway, 50-50. All right. Always get people who can meet you halfway and can somebody who can pay the rent just like you pay the rent. You know what I mean? If you if you know you got a car, go talk to a guy that got a car or shit. At least he can get an Uber or Lyft around or something. But don't talk to nobody who don't got a car because you already know it's going to start to be some drama or troubles. If you make forty five dollars an hour, don't talk to somebody who making fifteen. Get somebody who makes 60 or get somebody who makes $35 an hour. At least you know they can meet you halfway. You feel me? I can guarantee you if you get with somebody who can't meet you halfway and you just believe in them, you believe in them, I can almost guarantee you that friendship, situation is going to mess up. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. Most relationships end because people are on total, totally different pages. So this person want to go that way and he want to go that way. You understand? It's never the same. Okay. But when you meet people who want to go exactly where you want to go, who want the same things that you want, who are somewhat in the same career path as you, or they have the same beliefs or whatever, then you can make that happen. Okay. But other than that, even your spouse, even your boyfriend, girlfriend, they're going to hate you just because you want to accomplish something. They're going to hate you just because. Your family just, just hates you just because you're accomplishing something. That's why they're not around. That's why they hate you. Because you're accomplishing something. You're doing great at something. Or you're being your truest version of yourself. Like you're being who God wants you to be. And they don't like that. Because they see it as you being better than them. They don't like that. And they're not at that level of uh, uh, they're not at that level of success that you're at so they don't feel comfortable with even talking to you because y'all on two different frequencies see when you change your frequency you got to stay in your frequency when you change your frequency you start meeting totally new people who you never thought you would meet for a while because they're on the same frequency this is when you realize race don't even matter because the white person is on the same frequency as this black person that's why they're having a conversation at the table you know what I mean? When you shift your frequencies and you rise in your vibration, you start to leave people behind or people start to hate on you just because you're switching your vibration and going to a higher level. This is why they hate you. But they don't even understand what's really going on. What's really going on is you're just becoming a better, better version of yourself. You're becoming a greater person. You're just doing good with your life and you want the best for everybody. And they just don't understand it because, like I said, it's all about competition with them. With your friends, it's all about competition. When you start to outdo your friend and make more money or get more clients, whatever you do, you start to carry yourself differently. You start to say, I don't want to hang around them no more, girl. Let's go hang around them. When you start to switch up your whole routine, 
versus what you and your friend used to do, your friend is going to go against you. Your friend is going to try to sleep with your, your man. She's going to try to do everything she can do to get to hold you back so you can still be on her level. She's going to try to do everything she can do to steal that confidence that you have so that you can come back and meet her because she's not able to get to where you're at as fast as you are, as fast as you got to where you're at. You understand? So you're going to find yourself leaving a lot of people when you start changing your frequency who are not able to keep up with you. That's why I say, friends, it's a revolving door at this point. If you're on the level of success or you achieve some kind of success or you trying to be the best you could be, you might as well get used to people coming and go every 15 minutes like a bus. Bro, girls, girls, dime a dozen. They're going to come every day. Soon as she leaves, soon as she do something wrong, you're going to have another girl with curly hair knocking at your door the next day, bro. Why? Because you're going from glory to glory. You're going from evolution to evolution. You understand? The more you keep rising, bro. Listen, fellas, the more you keep rising on your journey to success, the more you're going to have another girl that's better than the girl that you was with on this level. Right? If if you're not connecting with her and y'all not connecting, and you, it's because you keep becoming a greater version of your male self. Same thing with y'all, ladies. It's because you're becoming a greater version of your, your feminine self. So the guys that thought they could get over on you and could just sleep with you just because they just feel obligated that they can do that because they're a man and you're a woman, you're going to rise away from them guys and you're going to go to a totally different guy who knows that shivery ain't dead. He's going to be opening the doors up for you. He's going to be doing all kind of shit. He's going to be putting rose petals at the front door all the way to the bathroom type of shit. Why? Because you're on a totally different frequency of men. You understand what I'm saying? When you change your frequency, you got to change... You got to change your behavior. Adapt to the frequency that you're creating for yourself. If not, people going to hate you just because. And you're going to wonder why you, when you hang out with this crowd of people, why they don't like you no more. Or they, you go around, you go into this party or whatever, and it's, you feel all this negative energy on you. Nigga, you don't supposed to be at the party. It's a bunch of bums in there who don't make no money. They just hustle and sell drugs and carry weapons because they scared of themselves and they scared of life. You don't supposed to be there. You're supposed to be in this party over here where the millionaires at. Parties I go to, parties I go to, you got to pay before you get there. Big bro, huh? We pay a thousand something dollars to go to a party that we not even there yet. It, they, the day ain't even came. But that's how we have to, that's how we have to show that we on that frequency. Because we don't want nobody around us in a party who don't supposed to be there. When we, when I go to a party, they send me a list of people that's going to be there. I see their names. I, I know who they is. I can look them up. Everything. Why? Because we all paid the same frequency, money, energy. We all paid the same money to go into this party. And then when we get there, we ain't waiting in no line. We ain't getting no damn security checks because we all know who we is. We're on the same frequency. You walk straight through and you go get your bottle and you have a good time and you network. That's frequencies. But when you on lower frequencies and shit, everybody's scared of you. They got to check you. They got to search you. They got to uh, pet you down. You, you got you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying? That you, it's just inconvenient. You understand what I'm saying? But when you on a different, when you vibing at your frequency, you will be surprised at the parties you can get into. You will be surprised at the places you can go into and they'll accept you there. See, half of y'all is scared to meet your frequency. Half of y'all is on a high level of frequency, but you still doing low vibing shit. And you wonder why these people hate you. You wonder why this, this relationship ain't working. It's so toxic. He don't like me. He doing this, that, that. Because you don't you don't evolve from his ass. Leave him. How you going to still be with somebody who beating on you? How you still going to be with this woman, bro? And she just cynical. She negative. She toxic. She always telling you how you ain't shit. Man, leave her ass. There's 5.5 billion girls out here in the world, boy. Go to the AUC. Aww. Come out here to DC and see for yourself. Oh, this shit is ridiculous. You don't have to stay on the same frequency as other people because they making you feel bad because you are rising above them, folks. That's basically what I'm saying. All right. You don't have to. You, you're not you're not here to save people. That's only God. Only God can do that. And only people can do that for themselves. You're not here to save people. You're here to be a walking example. So that way, if anybody do wants to uh, change their life, they can look at your life as an example and they could follow in your footprints. You know what I mean? And they can they can copy your routine. Okay, but you're not here to baby nobody. You're not here to tell people, this is how you do it. Do it like this. This is how you do it. Do it like that. You should do this. You should do that. You're not here to stand on a corner and hold up a sign and tell people that they're going to hell because they don't want to read the same book that you read. 
You're here to be a walking example. When people see your life flourishing, when people see that you're happy naturally, when people see that you're always having fun and you're taking good pictures with, with yourself and, and you, you love yourself, when people can just see the fruits of your labor, they're going to follow you. Period. They're going to they're going to they're going to look up to you. You don't have to worry about if they love you. They're going to follow you, dog. OK, but once again, they are going to hate you. Some people are going to hate you just because you are doing so good with your life. All right. Those are the people you have to dis detach yourself from. And you got to go to this crowd over here now. And it might not be people who you thought that you would hang around, but that's your new soul family, man. Welcome to the Famous Living Room Network. This is our soul family, man. Star Seeds constantly co-creating our own reality. I hope this video resonated with somebody, man. It's your big brother, Trend Genius, man. Make sure to speak or let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below, man. Check out my other videos right here and make sure you subscribe to my channel. People are going to hate you just because you're just being great, dog. This is part of the process. Welcome to the real world, man. Welcome to the real world, Neo. <laughs> Peace.